This video is about a new project called Brackets. So what is Brackets? Brackets is a free, open-source code editor for the web. That means it's focused on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But even more than that, it's built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But we don't want it to be just another code editor. We've got three big ideas that we think will make Brackets special. First idea, just you and your code. We want to do more than just code editing. We want to add features that will help make your coding much faster. But we don't want to do it by adding a bunch of icons, toolbars, and floating panels that get in the way of what you really care about, which is your code. Here's an early example of one idea we have for how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and launch Brackets, which you can see here is currently packaged as a desktop app. Although since it's built in HTML, we can run it in the browser eventually too. As you can see, Brackets starts up really fast. Right now, we're hosting the Brackets HTML application in a thin native shell that lets it access the local file system. And here you can see that in fact it's showing its own source code on my local disk. I'll open up a couple files here, so you can see that we have standard editor features like color coding for JavaScript and HTML. But let me show you one idea we have for bringing more features into the editor without getting in your way. Here's an HTML file for a simple website. And one of the things I commonly need to do is edit the styles that affect a particular tag. I could do that by going and poking around in my CSS files, but instead, in brackets, I have a quick edit key, Command E or Control E, that brings the relevant CSS for the selected tag right into the main editor. I can tweak the styles right here and save them. Here's a more complex example. This A tag in my navbar is affected by several relevant rules. I can see them all in the list on the right and click on them to edit different ones. Or I could use Alt up and down arrow to quickly switch between them from the keyboard. When I'm done, I just hit Command E or Control E again to close the quick editor. So this is one way that we can build tools in brackets that don't get in the way of your code. That demo showed a really quick way to tweak the CSS related to your code. You can imagine extending this all sorts of ways, like editing related HTML or JavaScript. But you could do more than code editing this way. You could do things like have a visual editor for a gradient or a box shadow in your CSS, or an inline tool that lets you tweak a sprite, or generate lolcats if that's your thing. Idea number two, brackets is in sync with your browser. Today you probably have a workflow where you use your code editor to, well, edit code. Then you open it in the browser and you use Firebug or Web Inspector to inspect how it's actually working. But the two aren't connected to each other. So after you make your tweaks in the browser, you have to go back and figure out how to apply those tweaks to your code. What we want to do is bring code editing and browser inspection together. Here's an example of how we could do that. This is the web page that we were looking at earlier in brackets. And you can see down here that I'm running Chrome as well. This button in the upper right hand corner of the brackets window is the live development button. And if I push it, you can see that it opens the web page in Chrome, but this is more than just a simple browser preview. I can use the quick edit key again here to bring up the CSS for the body tag, but now, as I change the background color, you can see that it automatically applies those changes in Chrome as I'm typing them. I can go down here and look at the navbar items again. Maybe I want a little margin between them, so there's a little spacing. That looks pretty good. You know, that went too far. That one looks good. Oh, and the border's still green because it was like the background color before, so I can change that, see if it looks better. Well, that's not quite right. How about this one? That's pretty good. These are the kinds of things that you typically do in browser-based development tools today, but with brackets, we can bring them directly into your code editor. So that showed a simple example of how you can have live editing of CSS. Of course, you could extend this again to live HTML or JavaScript editing, but there's much more we can do here. We could make it so that while you're editing an HTML tag in brackets, it highlights the corresponding DOM node for that tag in the browser. Or vice versa, in the browser you could click on an item and then have it take you right to your source code in brackets. You could even do things like set breakpoints from brackets. That brings us to idea number three. We haven't done all this stuff yet, and we need your help. When we started the brackets project, we wanted to see if we could build this kind of rich web development functionality in HTML. But because we've built it in HTML, you can build it too. So if you know any of these programming languages, that's awesome for you, but you really only need to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in order to contribute. So please visit our GitHub repo and help us make this happen. Thanks.